What's up? This is Rebel Radio. What up? What up? This is DJ Newmark. This is Peanut Butter Wolf. It's your boy. It's okay. Keep checking out Rebel Radio. Rebel Radio. This is Rebel Radio. We're in the place right here. Uh? Rebel Radio is going down. What did you say? Rebel Radio? Oh, wait. Let's do it again. Rebel Radio. What's up? It's Rebel Radio. Welcome back. I'm your host, Josh Levine. My guest today is Antoine from the Anticon Collective. If you're not familiar with Anticon, they're a West Coast bastion of alternative creativity. They got all kind of interesting music coming out. And Antoine, his new single, Dry Fit, not the least of it. He's going to give us some insight into uh, what it's like just not really fitting into the concept of what it means to be a rapper. Uh, his background, his influences from punk and hardcore music and how that affects what he's doing today. And his number one rule for success, have friends that aren't shitty. I love that one. If you like that, you're probably going to like this interview with Antoine. Here we go. Well, dude, thanks for doing this, man. I'm excited to uh, learn about what you're up to. We've been following you online, seeing you doing your thing. Sick. Um, but yeah, so I saw the new video today. I don't know. Yeah, it just came out just today. dropped? Yeah, just today. That's for Dry Fit? Yeah, for Dry Fit, yeah. Nice. On that. The LXC produced by Lars Stalfers. Okay. On Anacom Records. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's great. And, and so, you know, learning about everything you're up to, I want to get into all of it. Um, but, you know, maybe take us back kind of to the beginning and how you first... Got into music. Uh, probably just listening to music. What were you listening to? Uh, I listened to a lot of stuff when I was younger. I liked uh, like a lot of techno. Yeah, I liked punk and hardcore, but I wasn't really into like wasn't really into it yet. Like when I was like super young, when I started wanting to rap, do rap music. I think I was just listening to rap and like what's up, whatever, and and then listening to metal and stuff. Yeah. What was your first, like, is there a first record you remember, like, that kind of blew you away? No, nah, I smoked too much weed. I don't even remember that shit that much. So, like, <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. I had, like, the Green Day Insomniac on tape. Okay. When I was a kid. Yeah. And then, I don't know. I had. Uh, what other, what other should I had? My mom used to listen to PM Dawn. She would okay. like, she would like, uh, clean the house and stuff. Yeah. That's good mom's music. It's cool mom music. It's pretty chill. Right. I don't know. Nah, not really. No. I think, uh, probably Run DMC Raising Hell. I bought that on CD. Okay. When I was a kid. Okay. And then... That was pretty cool. But yeah, I don't know. Bunch of, there's a bunch of stuff. I don't think there's a, just one. Right. I can't pick just one. That's, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, when did you first start thinking, like, making music? Uh, when I started hanging out with my one friend, when I, uh, my friend Bronson, when I was in, like, middle school, mm -hmm. he was, like, he DJed, which was really wild, because he DJed, we are like, 13 or some shit okay so it was like he was young and shit yeah so it's like but he was cool he was like uh to be like yo let's record stuff and then i would just rap over like instrumentals and stuff over like the the second side of the record and stuff where it's just a yeah. instrumental yeah just like freestyles yeah yeah and then did you start performing no not at all i didn't start performing until like Maybe like fifteen or some shit. Okay. And then like, I think like the first show, I like didn't know, like know any of the words and stuff, so I was like really bad. <laughs> nice. It's like terrible. Yeah. So, did that? Uh, how? Like, did you, did you care? Did that bother you? Yeah, it bothered me a lot. Yeah. It totally bothered me. So I just kind of went at it again, and then I didn't start doing shit until like me and my homie Doug got together, started making music. He went by uh. Uh, Deluxe, a superhuman, but okay. then became like DJ Bass Lord, DJ Sex Play, and then um, we started doing stuff. And then we would like go to this open mic and like and play and stuff. And mm -hmm. my, all my friends would come out, 
and that was cool because the first time all my friends came out, I didn't know any of the words, so now I kind of knew them, right? Which is better. So, did, so like some people, you know, you'd have a you you get up there and realize you didn't know what you were doing, and like yeah. just like that would be the end of it. Yeah, people, some people will just give up, right? You know what I mean, but so so did you? I think I gave up for a long time. You did. Yeah, probably. Nah, yeah. I don't know. I don't think I gave up. I think I just kind of went back and just kind of had to practice. So, so did you have like a a moment where you're like, you know, is like, am I really gonna do this? I'm gonna, you know, go back to the lab and like no. make it happen? Or I don't know. I never had any like moment where I was like, all right, like I was just kind of like, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, you know, yeah. like I never like it just sort of happened. Yeah, I never really like thought that was going to be something. Mm-hmm. I just wanted, like, people that I knew in San Jose to listen to it. So it what were you, I mean, obviously you are real young then, but but were you, um, what were you thinking was, like, a career before music? Or I wanted you, to be, like, uh, I wanted to do, like, heating, the HVAC shit, heating okay. and ventilation, air conditioning. Okay. Because it made a lot of money. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. I didn't really care about the actual heating, ventilation, or air conditioning right. part. Um, Does anybody really care? Like, are there people that are just passionate about uh, No clue. Probably not. No clue. Yeah. But what else did I want to do? Oh, I wanted to paint. I want to be uh-huh. a, a painter. Yeah. You still paint? Nah, I don't no. have no time. Yeah. Uh, what else? So then when did you start? When did you feel like music could be a career? Was there, like, something that happened? I think when I, like, met my manager. Okay. And then that's when, like, and then, like, I came down here and started, like, working. Not not even just working, but, like, working with other people and, like, meeting people and stuff and, like. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, that's one of the things that's so great about L.A. is, like, there's so much industry here for for entertainment and you just meet people and, like, can start to build. Yeah, no, it was, it, was wild. it was really wild. Like, one of the first times I came down here and stuff, I, like, uh, w- me and George from Twin Shadow were, like, doing some stuff. Mm-hmm. And, like, he had, like, a spot at, like, Hollywood Forever and, like, like a, like the mausoleum part or some mm-hmm. shit, I think, mm-hmm. or a little cut. At the cemetery. Yeah, and it was, like, yeah. it was crazy because it was, like, and then I remember I seen him at the, uh, at the, uh, at Cha Cha and stuff, and I was, like, yo, what's up? And then my homie was like, oh, my God, you know that guy? And, like, I was like, yeah, is that a big deal? Like, is that crazy? But then that's just kind of like how people, like, not from here kind of be, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I don't really really mind. I I mean, like, everybody to me is just kind of, like, normal. So I don't really, like, be tripping out and shit. Mm -hmm. I I mean, I do sometimes. If it's, like, cool. Like, who's cool? Who have you met that you just were excited? You like geek out on? Uh, I think I seen Chris Rock one time. Okay. I wasn't like like crazy excited. I was just like, "Yo, you the man. I love you." Yeah. And he like looked at me. He was like, "All right." <laughs> and I just kept it moving. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like there may be some others, maybe. Yeah. So I read somewhere you said like. You didn't think you could be accepted as a rapper or No, or not at all. Why? Uh just just the way how rap is, I guess. What does that mean? Like how like the standards of rap music and the standards of rappers. Mm. You know? Like I didn't think that I fit in that box. But I feel like maybe this is like the time where like people don't really want the same thing over and over again. Like they you know, it's okay to like Mm-hmm. be different yeah no i think and i think that's a it's a great time yeah i mean it feels like that's really changing right that we're, yeah. there, where there were these lanes that you kind of had to fit into yeah totally you have to be like a certain person and yeah i don't even know like growing up like if if you were to tell me like oh i'd be like here right now like even like doing what i do and stuff like i would have been like how like I don't get that. Like I don't make no sense. Like yeah. Like I don't got no. Like I don't really have what rappers had. Like back in that day, you know what I mean. But then again, I think about it, and like I don't think they really knew what the fuck they were doing because right. they're all broke now. You know, most of them. Yeah. 
So it's kind of like, for sure. who really knew what was going on? Who right. really, like, do I even know what's going on? Do yeah. I even know what I'm doing? You know what I mean? But like, so what is that? Is that just the fact of not being in something you don't know? Or is it just like uh, you get more self-confidence as you go? I feel like I, maybe I get more self-confidence as I go. Yeah. I don't know. Like sometimes, you know, sometimes you think it's a certain thing and right. then it's kind of like not. And it's kind of just better to just keep yourself leveled. You I always really... say like, you know, if I had known how hard, like if I yeah. if I'd known like all the shit I was going to run up against, I never would have tried. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you have to kind of be ignorant going into it. True. Yeah, yeah. Because you kind of like, you, ha- you like, if you knew everything and stuff, you kind of be, just be kind of wild. Yeah. But I don't think most people do because like, well, I'll be like, people will be like, oh, what are you doing? And I'll be like working. And they're like, oh, where do you work at? Mm-hmm. And I'll be like, no, I have to go and make music. That's right. my job. And they're like, how does that work? Yeah. And then I explain it to them and they're like, that doesn't sound fun. So wait, how do you explain it? I'm just like, hey, I have to go in and work on songs, then I go on tour, then I make enough money to sustain myself to work on these songs some more. Yeah. Then I go back out on tour and make more money, and then I go do it over and over again. Yeah. And then people are like, that's that sounds really boring. <laughs> but I don't know. It's not boring to me. Like I, I like it. Like, sure. It makes me excited. Yeah. Get excited. What was the first? Um like did that was there like a turning point for you where like you start getting known and people are coming to your shows and they're like oh you know you're getting that positive feedback yeah but i don't remember it okay i don't it's not remember like it. some moment it's not nah, like one day it changed nah i don't feel like it was like one day i feel like maybe it was one day but then like I probably, like, got fucked up that day and was like, oh, hell yeah. Like, yeah. I'm going to go get fucked up. Right. And then and I forgot what day it was. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I it's it. just kind of blurred to me. Sure. But, you know, I feel like it's every day. You know what I mean? Every day I feel like it's possible to be like, you know, it's my turning point day. So is it more like it's little little, little advances? Yeah, One little thing advances. Yeah. I like, you know, you know, I'll, Put out the little the video and people I feel like people like his video. It's my like favorite video so far. This new one? Yeah, so Yeah. I think that's a little turning point. I think that's good. I mean I think your your stuff, you know, just having seen some of the videos and even the artwork, right? Like it's mm-hmm. really um you know, th- there's there's a really strong mm-hmm. personality behind it. You know what I mean? Like like it feels like there's a lot of art, a lot of thought kind of yeah, into yeah. the way you're presenting yourself visually true is that on purpose hell yeah, yeah. i read comic books yeah i read a lot of comic books growing up yeah what comics uh mostly spider-man okay i like spider-man i like punisher i was like my favorite okay because he didn't have he just shot people <laughs> but he was lit right well, i remember because i liked the the first punisher movie when i was a kid uh-huh on Dolph Lundgren, that shit was lit. Yeah, I don't think they've ever made as as good a Punisher movie. Okay, since then. But I don't know. I just always liked movies and stuff, and like reading comic books and shit. Yeah. So I was always like, and like I grew up poor, so we played like make believe and shit all the time. So you know, I was kind of. I think that was that was that was it too. You know, mm-hmm. having imagination and shit for sure. So. Yeah, I mean, I think that comes across definitely in the videos. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure people respond to that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hopefully. So what about, I know you um, you mentioned Kid Rock a lot in in. Oh, yeah, Kid Rock's interviews. tight, man. So he's a, he's a big influence on you. Not like, not like musically. Okay. Cause I was going to say, I don't hear Because I don't feel like. I feel like people don't get it, and I haven't really, like, explained it. But, like, Kid Rock has, like, had, like, three major label deals. Right. And it just took his third one for him to, like, actually, like, break. You know what I mean? So I feel like his his story is very, like, like, is more than most other rappers. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. His story is, like, a lot more, like, uh, 
I respect it more than more more other rapper stories because they kind of just other rappers just get stuff and then they like lose it and then they just right. give up, you know. Yeah. But like him, like I feel like he uh he like lost a lot of stuff and then but just kept going, you know. Yeah, we, I mean you hear that a lot, and I wonder like, you know, about different people. Like I wonder how important is that process of like failing along the way. Yeah, it's so important. Yeah. Because if you just kind of like going and like you're not failing or something or not like something doesn't go wrong where you like don't learn anything from it i don't feel that i don't know when you get when you get it all at the end it doesn't doesn't really make as much sense and you don't really you just kind of get it and you lose it again you know what i mean if you if you understand if you know what losing something is then you try to keep it more you know what i mean you'll like understand it you know yeah that's such a good point like i th- just think about kid rock like it, you know if grid sandwiches for breakfast had blown yeah. up then what happened like he would just be um, like he'd probably lose it you know yeah you can't go like he could have had like a few of those yeah big record but like he wouldn't be around today nah like, there's all. no way nah so you kind of have to like you gotta have to lose stuff to like yeah know how it feels to get back up yeah, yeah. i remember so i was doing management back then mm-hmm. and uh and you know i was managing rappers and um I, t- I took a trip with my homeboy from Interscope. Yeah. And he's playing me. And he's like, let me play this demo. And he played me um, the Kid Rock demo. Yeah. That was like before Ba with the Ba. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, the, it was like, but that was that was the demo that like got him that deal. And uh-huh. I didn't know who it was. Like, he didn't tell me. He was just like, let me play you this. Yeah. And I was like, this is the most incredible thing I've heard. Yeah. Because like, it was rap, but it was rock, but it wasn't like... Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was just so interesting. Yeah, I, I feel like after after Grit Sandwiches, I know after Grit Sandwiches, you learn how to play like a whole bunch of instruments. Yeah. Because yeah, you know, he had to like if he was gonna if he was gonna fail, it was gonna be on his own. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So it's kind of like cool. I feel like like you know. So how does that how does that like how does that apply to you? I mean, if if anybody's gonna like, at the end of the day, if. If I have anybody to blame, it's going to be myself, mm. not somebody else. You know what I mean? Because I'm not going to put someone else that I didn't think that could do the job on the job. So, you know you I mean? s- like, I'm sure you you sit around talking to rappers, not to pick on rappers. Yeah. I love, there's some people They're I love okay. that are rappers. But, but, like, me, but anybody, like, I'm sure you've had these conversations like I have where, you know, it's the label's fault, it's the radio's fault. It's yeah, the, yeah. It's the... Some other artist's fault. Nah, man, it's the artist's fault. At the end of the day, if you can't take responsibility for your shit, I mean, I could blame anybody. You know what I mean? For I sure. could blame like a booking agent and be like, "Oh yeah, this and that," but it's like at the end of the day, I just get another person, right? Mm-hmm. But I have to take some type of responsibility for that. You know what I mean? And any that's you know that's that's what any artist. You know what I mean? Like you should take responsibility for like. Maybe you could work harder, you know what I mean? Like maybe you maybe you need to change this. Maybe like yeah. there's something. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's I think it's the best thing best way to grow as an artist, you know what I mean? Is to like never stop growing. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Never mm-hmm. just it's it's okay, you know, to give people what they want, you know what I mean? But like at the end of the day, you're going to have to like you're going to have to like be better than yourself, you know? Mm-hmm. I think some people grow in like a really bad way and then grow in like a way that's like they stay the way they are and they just grow bigger, you know? I mean, I think most artists, their first record is their best record. Ah, true. Now, if we look at the greats who have made it for decades or whatever, that's not true. That's true. But if you just look at your average entertainer, Mm -hmm. they do their first work, their best work, and then they never. Yeah, and they kind of just want to be other people, feels like. Yeah. Which is kind of wild. So how do you... I mean, I think it's easy to see why that happens. Yeah. Because you go from working in the basement and being broke and, Mm -hmm. you know, putting all of your energy and all of your heart into this thing. And then later, you know, two years later, you've been on the road, hanging out with girls and being surrounded by the industry. I don't even hang out with girls on the road. Okay. I feel like that's a... secret? I think that's what that's what rappers want you to think to hang out with girls on the road. Fair enough, but I'm just saying, like, you I have, mean, I'll hang out with girls, but I don't be like, there's not like fifty thousand girls that I right. don't know in some my green room. That's right. trash. Like, that's I don't want video. nobody in the green room. I don't, 
Like, I'm just trying to chill. I might take a nap. You know? Yeah, I mean, I, no, I get it. I, I'm just saying, like, I think, you know, as an artist, like, you go from one reality, yeah. one environment that shapes your work yeah. to, you know, once you're kind of in the industry as a profession, like, you have a wholly different environment. You're, you know, you're on yeah you're on interviews and and you know like you're not hanging out with the homies anymore just true doing true. your thing yeah you know and so i think that becomes hard for people to like keep the magic that got them there in the first place yeah so so what do you do how do you how do you combat that i go hang out with my homies yeah 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 sometimes i'll just go hang out like most of my friends aren't pretty aren't shitty you know what i mean so right. i can go hang out with them yeah, most of the times. So have friends. I mean, have friends that aren't shitty. Let's yeah, write yeah. That down. Have friends that aren't shitty. Yeah, I don't know. I think most rappers don't have friends because they're kind of like, I don't know. Is is, is this they're life afraid of being judged or something? It could be really isolating, right? Ah, uh, I mean, yeah, but you know, there's always people hanging out. Yeah, the party's always going to be there, and you know, people mostly proud of you. You know what I mean? Like, sure. Or they want to be like you know. Well, that's fine. Like, I'll I'll go work, and then I'll just go party, and people will be like, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And I'll be yeah. like, yeah, sure. You know? So you do a lot of stuff, obviously, with, with uh, I know you have a background in, in punk and hardcore. Yeah, sure. And um, so how, how, like, how important is that for what we're talking about, just, like, being around different uh, kinds of people that have different interests and different influences? I don't know. I feel like, I feel like growing up punk and hardcore. I, I, I just know the bigger picture, I guess, and like yeah. a lot of shit that like bugs out, bugs people out, like normal people out. I guess don't phase me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like some people, they think like once they get to this level and stuff, they have to like be treated like a certain way. Mm -hmm. And like I don't give a fuck to be treated like that. I don't know. I just rather just be treated like a like a human i don't need to be treated like a special human you know what mm -hmm. I mean? like that's weird you know yeah i don't know i don't i think i think i'll do stuff that you know helps people out and that's you know all i really want is like people to be like oh yo this helped me out like and what do you mean like you know what i mean music you know what i mean listening to music you know just helps people out in general yeah so someone is like hey this is my story of how your music helped me out in my life it's good enough for me you know what I mean? Like, I don't really need... So you you hear that from fans? Yeah. That's best case scenario. Yeah, yeah. You know, worst case scenario, I'd be saying some other stupid shit, but, you of know... Of course. That's, you know, it comes with it. Of course. Know? Yeah. Do you... Uh, how, how do you know what... You know, that, that, uh, that feedback, right, mm -hmm. that you get from fans? Like, how do you know what to let in and what to tune out? I don't. Okay. So... I might be like, I might hear one thing and I'll be like, oh man, this is great. I mean, I'll start tuning things out when it's kind of like a, people start asking me questions that are like obvious questions or like questions that are just like, I don't even want to talk about this. You know what I mean? Like, I understand that and I'll be just like, okay, nice to meet you. Yeah. You know, but like, I don't know, for the most part, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm down to take both. Mm -hmm. So like, I, I know which ones, which one I want to listen to and which one I don't, you know? Do you ever get something that makes you sort of question what you're doing? Yeah, like, I'll get, like, some weird question from some, like, weird-ass man, and, like, they'll be like, oh, yo, like, pussy this, pussy that, and I'll be like, dog, I don't make music for someone like that, you know what I mean? I don't make music for someone who, like... you saying, like, people get offended by the lyrics? No, I'm not even offended, like, someone who is offensive. Okay. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't oh, oh. make music for, like, some offensive-ass person yeah. or some, like some jock dude who like thinks it's like cool or like you know what i mean some shit like that you know i don't make music for those type of people you know yeah so that uh, let's talk about that because you know a lot of your lyrics i mean you talk about sex a lot yeah no doubt but you know i'm not talking about sex like how other people talk about sex for yeah. sure so but you know what i find interesting is like like you have one thing in your mind mm -hmm. that you're trying to communicate or get off your chest or whatever yeah yeah right? and then but it gets out into the world and people take it in through their own no doubt. lens, right? And you lose yeah, yeah. control over that. Yeah, for sure. But like, you know, I'm I'm well aware of what I'm talking about. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't just say it just yeah. so we get the shits and giggles. Sure. You know. Yeah. 
saying for a reason. Yeah. You know, yeah. to influence the youth. So does that, does it matter to you then how people, how people take it? Uh-huh. You know, people are going to take it any way they want. That's up to them. That's up to them. Yeah. But, you know, as long as I could just have a say in what I'm saying and what mm-hmm. I'm putting out there still, mm-hmm. then that's fine. So how do you, um, I mean, you, you know, you're, you're good from what I can tell, you know, you're good at, at social, uh-huh. at, you know, I mean, you're doing, everything is, is independent, right? Mm-hmm. You're not signed to. Uh, now, yeah, we signed to Anacon. Okay. But that's about but even like, that, it's like, even that, it's like yeah. still chill. Right. Yeah. Um, so how do you do it? Like, what's the, wh- what do you. What do you do to really build those relationships with fans? What what works? I'm just talking to them. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Yeah, just talking to them and I don't know, just being personable, I guess. Mm -hmm. And like you know, that's about it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if 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 people do that, you know, nowadays. But yeah, it seems like artists. I mean, it seems to me like there's artists you fall into one of two camps. Like you yeah. either, you either like enjoy it and get it and just like yeah. do it really well. Or it's like this constant struggle. Yeah, no doubt. It's, it's really weird. Cause I mean, like even the other day, like some kids came to me, they're like, Oh yeah, I was at the bar like in New York. And I was like, Oh, uh, they were like, Oh, Antoine, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, for sure. And I was like, so what's going on tonight? What y'all doing? Mm-hmm. And like trying to talk to them and mm-hmm. stuff. And like, be like, Oh, like, what's popping at this bar you know what i mean like right. what's going down and they yeah. were just kind of like why are you talking to us you know what i mean i was just kind of like, like they, they expected yeah. you to just be a certain way yeah and i was just like yo like i i don't know like are you guys from here i'm not right. from here like yeah. what's going on yeah you know and how they they're just kind of like oh i don't know it's kind of weird you know what i mean uh, and it's just like i don't know i'm not i just rather i don't know like if it seemed like they're like in the like minded, you know, as me, you know what I mean? Yeah. Into the same stuff as I am. So yeah. maybe they know about something cooler. Yeah. Or something cool going on. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, but like so people have these expectations like that. Yeah. You know, they think of you I mean, I don't know. I'm always fascinated with like this idea of like how big mm-hmm. how big are is it, right? How big are you in, in your own mind versus yeah. your fans might see it a totally different way. I don't know. I I live in a house with like eight other people, mm-hmm. so and I don't know. I can't really keep my room clean, so mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't really think that you know. It's like I'm like unapproachable. Sure, it's like I'm not. You know, yeah. I don't know when I'll ever be unapproachable. Is that the goal? To be unapproachable? I'm just you know what? Like maybe someday because yeah. people be crazy. I don't know. So what is the, like, do you, is there a vision for, you know, what you're trying to do? Uh, and, like, when, wh- is there a point where you'll feel like you've made it? Or have you already reached that point? Nah, I don't know. I haven't, like, made it. I feel like what well, all I want to do really is just help out people that felt, I feel a way growing up, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, young kids feel a way growing up and stuff. and just Like what way? Just alone, I guess. Feel alone or yeah. maybe they feel, you know. Something like I you know, I feel like detached from from you know their friends or stuff. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And just kind of like let people, let kids know that you know what I mean. You can be yourself, and you know what I mean. Find strength in inside yourself, and just yeah. do something for yourself and be happy. So, do you hear that from kids? Sometimes, yeah. And that makes me happy. Yeah. That I'm actually doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what about like? You know, is there like financial goals attached to that? Is it you know you trying to be in a? I don't know. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm trying to like help out. I want to help out my mom like later on and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And kind of like, you know, help out or whatever I can. But I, I guess I'm know. wondering like how much is there like a business plan, so to sp- say, opposed to like mm. we're just doing it. Right now, we're just doing it. Yeah, and we got. Uh, nature world and stuff, and it's kind of just like, yeah. Tell me, tell me about Nature World. I, I read a little bit about the show at Jules, but oh, it's like a clothing right, company, you, but we got the Nature World night out too. Yeah. So yeah, 
So Got Clothing Company. And we the you festival. And who? Me and my man Andres. Okay. And uh my manager Chase. Okay. And then uh my buddy Andy. He DJs for me too. Okay. So yeah, we're just kind of all just kind of figuring out, you know what I mean? What's, so what's the brand about? What made you want to do that? I don't know, just streetwear. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's it. I like clothes. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So I was just like, oh yeah, we just make clothes. Yeah. I, I might just just drop secret stuff too, like of shirts too, mm-hmm. just because I like I like uh, shirts. I like shirts that are just kind of like we're doing more of like a. Uh, like, uh, what's it? Like, more, uh, selling it to more people, selling more, more stuff, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I kind of like, you know, like, I liked it when it was kind of like a littler brand and kind of oh, okay. like rare and stuff, you know? Yeah. So I might just do another, like, little, like, rare brand sure. or something. Yeah. Just, just cause. Like, is it. <clears throat> <clears throat> is that like you worried about it getting played out or <laughs> yeah probably yeah i like to keep things fresh okay you know I mean? and then tell me about the night out oh uh, nature world night out well we got a new, another one coming up but okay. i can't really speak on it it's next okay. year That's but what's the what, it's just like what, what do people expect they come uh it's just really cool shit it's like all types of music it's like rap you know what i mean and like bands play you know what i mean and like stuff like that mm-hmm. it's kind of cool because you just kind of don't know who's into what mm-hmm. it's kind of fun yeah yeah and is that like is that just more marketing for you as an artist or what like it's just like a fun festival that i would want to go to yeah so let's just do that for everybody yeah huh. yeah i think that's really smart i mean we just had Claude on stroke mm-hmm. on the show you know him Mm-mm. uh dirty bird records so he's a DJ, producer, Wait. label owner. Oh, no, I don't know. And then, um, but he was saying, you know, they make more money from the clothing and the events yeah. than they do from the music. That's and he, how it he is, was saying man. that totally changed his uh, perspective on making music because, you know, you're not like, you're not worried about making music to make money. Yeah. You're making music to build fans. True. That then you're going to interact with in other ways. Yeah, I think. Through Nature World and stuff is another way to interact with other fans and stuff because they yeah. get the other shit too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I think people want to be, they want to be part of something. Yeah, yeah. And you I know? feel like Nature World is a thing to be a part of because like, even in the name, like, it's not like, there's no like, it's not just for one gender, you know what right. I mean? It's for the world, you know? Yeah. So I think it's really cool. Yeah. Where'd the name come from? Just that. Uh-huh. Pretty much. Just a like... Just a natural, just and just and everything like uh, everything naturally going together. Pretty much like nature world is just like everyone, everyone together, like as like in a in like a natural abilities, like you know what I mean. Everyone just like doing something mm-hmm. in a world together. Mm-hmm. So it's like as one doing something. Some weird, I don't know. It's probably some like weird Christian shit. I don't know. Underlying Christian Christianity shit. I don't is that know. right? Are you probably. Christian? Nah. No. I'm a Catholic. Okay. Not really. No. No. Not like I don't know. That. I I mean I I guess. I mean it sounds more like sounds a little more hippie. Yeah. To me. No doubt. I grew up in the Bay Area. But so. also punk rock. Yeah. Is, you know, there's that yeah. that element. Yeah. Punk Makes rock sense. is just like mad hippies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah. No, I think it's great. Yeah. Um what's the what are the, what are the What's the hardest part of this? What are the big challenges that you run into? Nothing. I don't know. There's no real, like, challenges. I guess probably the only challenge is, like, uh, not getting upset on, like, at, like, little things. Like, there's, I feel like a lot of, like, like music is, like, only aesthetic. You know what I mean? And, mm-hmm. like, the music is, like, terrible. Especially in rap music. And, like, just not getting upset over it. And, like, you know what I mean? Kind of, like, understanding that, like... Every dog has its day. So what rap, what music do you listen to? What rap music? I like YG, the new YG album. Okay. Shit's really good. Okay. And then, uh, what else? I like uh, this dude from Toronto, Robin Banks. Um, 
Uh, other rap I be listening to. I be listening to a lot of rap from uh, the Bay. Let's mm-hmm. do Lil Yace mm-hmm. and Yada, and then uh, Ke. They're pretty sick. So there's some stuff out there. I listen to a lot of rap that I don't make. Yeah, the, the kind of rap I don't really make. Right. I guess. Yeah. Is it's that cool. important? I've heard that be- before. That like when you're writing. Yeah. That you kind of got to listen to something that's really far away from what you do. Yeah. So you don't I feel get like too it influences, influences a lot. I feel like it influences some of the stuff I make. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. then like stuff I make's not like the music I listen to. So it kind of just is like I'm taking styles from somewhere that's kind of like uh, kind of I feel like it's unappreciated. And then I'm like putting it in this music, and I feel like more other people appreciate it more. Yeah. The other music. Yeah. 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 That's great. <laughs> Do you have um, have ha, has somebody like mentored you, like help help the you music? learn this stuff along the way, or are you figuring it out on your own? Nah, I mean like a bunch of people have, like yeah. a lot of people have, a lot of friends of mine and shit. What's been like the most important kind of mentor or, or lesson that that somebody's taught you? Uh, to learn. Learn from learn from like your OGs and stuff, mm-hmm. and to like pretty much there's a formula that was before. If you want to, if you want to be the, if you want to be re- literally the best at like what you're doing right now, you got to learn from the formula from before, and then put your own style on it. Mm-hmm. Just like somebody like when I was younger and stuff, I used to do graffiti and stuff, and my homie would give me an alphabet, and then I would learn the whole alphabet. But then I would start putting my own shit on right. the alphabet, you know, yeah. on the letters and shit. And I was like, okay. Most kids, like, nowadays, they don't have the blueprint anymore, you know what I mean? Yeah. They don't want to learn from the blueprint. They want to do their own thing. Yeah. So just, like, you, you, you like, you're, like, it's, I feel like people are trying to forget, like, the past, you know what I mean? That's funny you say that. I heard an interview recently with uh, Herbie Hancock who mm-hmm. said, like, that's what, when he was first learning, his teacher was like, you're going to play this forget whose piece but somebody else's yeah. until you can do it perfectly just like them mm-hmm. and then you're gonna learn to make it your own that's but, what you do, yeah. but first you gotta learn to copy somebody else exactly yeah that's great that's great yeah. advice but who, lot, who, lot, gave, who gave you that uh my, my homie doug okay i mean my homie doug knew that shit and then my, doug listens my, to the show so what up doug is doug, if doug does i don't think he does he like christian and shit now he don't like, oh, okay he'll born again christian he no no we have christian we have like at least four christian listeners okay i'm sure all right there you at go. least four then he's on then <laughs> he's probably one of our four yeah, yeah. okay no yeah. sorry i cut you off no it's all good <laughs> no but that's great that's great advice um so who 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 was that for you who were you studying Studying, I studied uh-huh. everything. I didn't really yeah. like. There was never really like one. Yeah, and that's usually like I don't know it's the question, but it's like I study a lot of shit. Like I remember I studied. I liked uh, America's Most Wanted. Mm-hmm. That was my shit. That's one of my favorite records. And then uh, License to Ill for sure. Mm-hmm. And then I like a whole bunch of lot of records. I feel like I studied just like different stuff. Yeah, like a lot of stuff from the Bay for sure. Like totally insane. Mm-hmm. Like that shit, totally insane. RBL Posse, four one five, and then like shit like that, and then like Cold World Hustlers. I fucked with them, mm-hmm. and then just shit like that, and then I then then like from starting to make, starting to listen to a lot of Bay Area stuff. Me and my homie Doug was like making like our own kind of Bay Area shit, like with our twist of it, because we were so yeah. like. We were like, all right, we already know this shit. Right. So, like, you know what I mean? Like, let's just make our own shit. I feel like the Bay has been really good for that. Like, really, uh, these pockets of yeah. experimentation, right? Oh, yeah. But I feel that's that's where, like, a lot of it comes it's, it's good that's, a lot, that's where a lot of it comes from because you know that's, like, they studied it. You know what I mean? They, yeah. They got it down. Yeah. And they did their own thing. Yeah. But it's, like, it's wild because, like, you know, a lot of people will be taken from the Bay Area. Yeah, especially Drake. Drake takes from the Bay Area a lot, and I I don't fuck with that. That's trash. That's yeah. garbage. Like that's garbage. He need to go back to Houston, trying to steal Houston shit. <laughs> nice. What would you uh, What would you not want to do? Is there like something that would you would consider like selling out? 
I mean, I feel like to be the most corniest person, that's probably like the richest person. <laughs> like Nick Cannon, that dude's probably like rich as hell, and he's like corny as fuck. Of course. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that's like not. Do they have to go to together? I feel like corniness and money goes together, yeah. Okay. But I don't want to be that. I want to be the opposite. Not even the opposite, but I don't want to be like poor and real. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like that's insane. <laughs> right. It's crazy. Yeah. But can you can you be both? Like I you know, is is not you know, is Jay Z both? I mean or, shit, or if you don't if he stops putting out music, he won't be fucking corny anymore. Right. But Okay. That's it. That's all he has to do to stop putting out music. Right. And he'll be okay. Yeah, but then is he really Jay Z? I mean, then he's just a businessman, right? That's the, yeah, that's fine. He no, can be Jay Z, no, businessman. That's great. For sure, I like that. Yeah, yeah. I understand. But you know, because um, that like weird Magna Carta album was horrible. <laughs> it's just yeah. garbage. For sure. But but you know, you got to wonder like, you know, I feel like as an artist, uh, like every great artist has a miss here and there. Yeah, no doubt. But then you got to know when to like, right? So, so, so back yeah. to what we were saying at the beginning, mm-hmm. right? Then do you say, well, like, obviously this is the end for me. I'm going to yeah, up now. End, yeah. Or do you go back and say, shit, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, no. I'm, I'm working on the comeback. No way. No. If you, if you lost the juice, you got, it's gone, you know? Yeah. If I lost the juice, it's gone. Yeah. I'm going to do something else. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like sad to say, but you know, you got to do it. Can it, has anyone ever, has, has there been like a real comeback like that? Well, T.I. tried to do that. Right? Okay. But I don't know. He didn't sound like he lost any juice. No, I don't think so. No. Nah. He just lost time out of his life sitting in jail. True. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, he's good. I don't know if there's any rappers that, like, made a comeback. Because, I would, you know, because the thing that's interesting about rappers, like, you kind of said it earlier that, like, you know, they go, you, like, they go on forever. Yeah, yeah, and and usually they just go on performing to smaller and smaller crowds each year mm-hmm. that that still remember yeah, who yeah. they are. And I know some of the old school cats from the '80s that they're still on these like revival tours. True, and you know they're playing their old songs, whatever. But you know it makes you wonder. Like, I think everyone's hoping that they can like find that magic again. Nah, not gonna happen. Someone wrote that wrote that song for them. You know <laughs> yeah, I mean? that's for sure. Um. I like that. Uh, what, what do you think? What's what? Is there a decision that you made that that has had the biggest impact? Is it moving to LA? Is there? Yeah, no doubt, moving yeah. to LA. Yeah, yeah. So I stayed in the Bay. I don't. I definitely want to be where I am now. Yeah. But it's like I love the Bay Area, but it's like it was like one of those decisions, and I feel like a lot of people do it like since I don't live in the Bay Area or like, and it's like a lot of people don't live in the Bay Area that are Bay Area rappers. You know what I mean? Like why the fuck, you know what I mean? Like it's like, it's like, I feel like a lot of people are like, Oh yo, that guy's not from the Bay Area because he don't live in the Bay Area. And it's like very ignorant Bay Area thing to say, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's a very popular thing to say, but it's like, I'm going to always be from the Bay Area no matter what. Mm Mm-hmm. No matter where I go, mm-hmm. and that's just it. It's not like it's something I could take. I could not be. You know what I mean? I'm always gonna, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. You got any fav- favorite DJs? Favorite DJs? Uh, DJ Lucas. Okay. Yeah. Who's that? DJ Lucas from Boston. Okay. He's just D- 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 <laughs> he's a DJ, and I know. He's favorite dope. DJs. I don't know. Who yeah, else? like the best. Is there a best set you've ever seen live? Uh, I mean, every time I seen a DJ, I probably was fucked up, so I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. Okay. To be honest. That's all right. Yeah. We'll check for DJ Lucas. We'll find him online. Yeah. DJ Lucas, hit us up, man. True. For sure. Dude, thanks for being here, man. I appreciate you coming through. No doubt. Thank you. Come back anytime you want to promote something. We'll be looking for uh, Nature World Night Out. Yeah, Nature World Night Out, yeah. And uh, where does everybody find you online? Uh, find me. Just 
Google Antoine, A N T W O N. Okay. And it'll just pop up on cool. everything. Yeah. Where are you most active? Is there one channel that's Twitter? Probably. Twitter. Yeah. Okay. Twitter. Follow Antoine on Twitter. Check the new video, Dry Fit. No. Yeah. Double XC. Double XC it's album. Out. It's out now? Yeah, it's out now on Anacon Records. Nice. Yeah. Dope. Thanks, man. Hell yeah. I'm on iTunes. It. Yes. Spotify. Title. How's your Snapchat? It's all right. Okay. It's pretty sick. Yeah. Snapchat sick. All right, that was Antoine. I hope you liked it. He's got some way out music for you to check out online. And hit us up. Let us know what you think of that on Twitter at Rebel Radio Net. Find us on Facebook. Subscribe on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Most importantly, come back next week for more Rebel Radio.